Hi everyone, it is Natalie here and today I'm coming with another College Tuesday video. I really need to come up with a better name for that because it doesn't flow at all and it's the most generic thing ever. So if you guys have any ideas for a College Tuesday name, maybe like something that starts with a T, I don't know, comment it down below. Is Today we are talking about how to choose your college, so kind of how to decide where to go to school, what college is the best fit for you. So I am breaking it down into categories to just make it a lot easier. If you guys are new here, please be sure to subscribe down below. I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday, and this summer I started a series on kind of helping you guys choose your major, choose your college. So now today I am doing a how to choose your college. I think that's honestly such a tough decision for so many of you guys. And before I get started, I want to let you guys know that this video, I had an amazing opportunity me to sponsor with University of New South Wales, which is in Sydney, Australia, or in a suburb of Sydney, Australia, in Kensington, and I am so unbelievably excited, you guys. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I think that is the coolest thing that they reached out to me, and I just, like, once I started researching the school, I fell in love with it, and now I honestly want to go there. I'm about to be a senior in college, so it's a little late for me, but maybe if I go to grad school, I don't know. It just looks amazing. I'm going to tell you guys about it, but I am going to break this video down into categories, so bring it down into, have it all written down, you guys. You guys know, this series, I have a lot of notes. I'm bringing it down into what do you want to do, location. What does the school offer you? Rankings and student life. So that is the top things that I asked myself or the things that I looked at when I was choosing a school. And I'm just gonna talk about every single one and then within each category, tell you about the University of New South Wales. If that is an option for you guys, I think that would be, oh my gosh, like, oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited for this video. I was like texting my boyfriend like, oh my gosh, can I, can I transfer there? Like, do you mind if I moved all the way across the world? Because I would love to. But the first question that I asked myself is what do I want to do? And a lot of people go to college and have literally no idea what their major is, so this might not be helpful for everyone, but if you have any slight idea of what you want to do, you should tr probably apply to colleges that have your major in it because you don't want to go to a school, realize you want to do something, and then have to transfer once you've made your friends once you've kind of fallen in love with the place. So if you guys don't know what to do though, you guys can totally watch my other videos that kind of help make your decision. But if not, then go to a college that has kind of a broad range of majors or apply to schools that have a broad range of majors just so that once you do decide, you're not trapped in going to just one and then they don't have it. But that is my number one thing. Like. Don't apply to so many schools that you are gonna be so overwhelmed and don't apply to so many schools that you're just applying just because, because it takes a lot of time and I feel like you should wanna make an effort to kind of apply to your dream schools and a couple backup ones. Personally, I applied to only four colleges. I did not apply to many. Um, I wish I applied to a little more, but I think anything more than seven is a little too much. At that point, like you should kind of have an idea of what you wanna do or what type of school you wanna go to and what you can afford also. Number one thing I thought of was what do I wanna do? I knew I wanted to go into engineering, so I literally just applied to engineering schools. That was my main priority. University of New South Wales has so many different majors to choose from. They have from engineering to medicine to business, and they are really great at all of them. Make sure to go to a school with a plenty of majors to choose from if you are undecided. And if you are 100% set, go to a school that has your major. I feel like that's kind of common sense, but you'd be surprised a lot of people apply to schools. Like a lot of people I know wanted to do nursing and they literally knew they wanted to do nursing while going into college and still chose NC State and NC State does not have nursing. So they had to transfer after two years, which I don't know why you would want to do that because eventually you're going to fall in love with the place and you're not going to want to transfer and then you're going to settle for a major that you're unhappy in. The next thing is location. So if you guys know me, you guys know that I am a huge city person. I do not like being in the middle of nowhere. I would never want to go to a school in the middle of nowhere. I was mainly between NC State and Clemson and I chose NC State because it was a city life But definitely think about where you want to go Do you guys want to go to a city or do you guys want to go to a small college town? Do you guys want to be by the beach or do you guys want to be in the mountains or like not cold or warm? You know, do you guys want to be in a close to home or far away and as I was re researching University of New South Wales The location is just like goals I mean, let me just throw that out there. It's in Sydney, Australia, first of all. Like, what? I've never personally been to Sydney, Australia, but my dad's been a couple times, and that's one of his favorite cities in the world. He says it's amazing. Besides the long plane ride to get there, he says it's such a beautiful place. And it is very similar to the US. Like, he didn't feel 
as like, oh, this is such a different place. Like, so if you're from the US, it is similar to it, but it's just so beautiful and it's enough different that like you should definitely go visit in your lifetime. So that's definitely on my bucket list. I would love to go to Sydney, Australia. Oh my gosh. Think about like, if you guys wanna go for an adventure and go away from home, I would 100% consider applying to schools outside of the country. I just got really kind of nostalgic when I was researching this college um, a while ago because I was thinking of the days I was applying to college and I wish I knew that going in to an international school would be an option. I never thought about it and I don't know, I just like would have loved to be able to do that. I was only thinking like, oh, city or countryside or like city or middle of nowhere, but like I never really thought about going abroad and I so should have, like both of my parents are international students first of all, so my mom, she was telling me how when she came to the US from Honduras, she literally didn't know anyone. Um, she moved here just to have an education. She literally just moved here for school. She didn't move because like for a better life or whatever, like she just moved here because she wanted to go to school here. She was telling me that that was the best decision of her life going to another country. So I think that if you guys have the opportunity to apply to another place that you you're not familiar with but you want like if something in you wants that do it even applying won't hurt you if you just apply I don't know I just I really really wish that I had done that when I was younger so I want to give you guys the best advice possible because I like I said I only applied to four schools and I wish I applied to a couple more so I don't want you to make the same like regrets that I have but that is definitely a not big tip for me it doesn't hurt to apply and if you guys want to be the adventurous type definitely do that I ask myself is what does the school offer me so college is very complex because it's not just like elementary school middle school high school where you just go in you learn and you leave like maybe you're a part of a club maybe you're on the school sports team or whatever but that's it like it doesn't really offer you that much like in high school I never was in any really like main clubs like big clubs and if I was it was just honestly to put it on my college application and not I wasn't that a part of it and then same with like guidance counselors in high school like I never once met with my guidance counselor like I never you know like the school there was just for me to learn and to get out but college is so much different than that and I wanted a school that offered me more than just a classroom I was making sure that the school had more to offer me than just sitting down and learning I wanted to be a part of something so schools like the University of New South Wales for example they have an entrepreneurship center and I thought that was what I was looking into the most when I was looking at their website because that to me I eventually want to own my own business someday that is like the goal in my life is to own my own business someday and I would have loved like right out of college I would love to work for a startup if I worked for a company I would love to work for a startup versus a large company I just like that feeling of entrepreneurship like being more involved doing something like your own like having new ideas like getting ideas flowing and everything like that like working with a small group to create something so much bigger and I just love that I love I don't know, that is just what I would want to do later in life. So when I was looking at that personally, they had an entrepreneurship center, which a lot of other schools have, like NC State has also an entrepreneurship center where you can go and it's kind of like a club and they sometimes they take trips and whatever. But this place, literally they have a legal team at the office because I feel like when you have a startup and you're a 22 year old college student or a 21 year old college student, you have no idea about the legalities of starting your own business and people can sue you and you're responsible for a lot more than you are just being a normal kid, you know? They have a prototype development center, so you go there and you help build your own prototype. They have a lot of mentors and faculty that will help you and that have worked with entrepreneurship and maybe started their own company too that know kind of the ins and outs of it. And I just thought that was really cool that they put such an emphasis on it because a lot of schools now I feel like focus on work here and go to a big company and make a lot of money at a big company and work for one of the fortune 500 companies whatever and that's great they should emphasize that but I feel like a lot of schools lack emphasizing starting your own thing like that is something that I admire a lot about people that start their own business because I know how hard it is my dad started his own business so that's kind of something that he passed down to me how rewarding it is to be an entrepreneur and so if you're looking at schools and you want to do that make sure that they have things like that like it's not just learning it's, it's so much more than that it's applying what you learn and actually taking steps for your future a lot of small schools may not offer things like that and it's not 
And if you don't want anything like that, then that's fine. It's not for you. But if you do want something more, look at the things that they offer. See if they have stuff like that on their site. Look at reviews. Go take a tour of the campus and ask them, you know? Also, if you want to do research, not every school is a research institute, just so you guys know. Like, not many schools out there do research. So if that's what's something you're interested in, make sure that you go to a school like that. I know where I go to school, it's the Triangle area, and they have a ton. All the universities, NC State, Duke, and UN, University of North Carolina, they're all research institutes. So it's a great place for the job or for jobs and it's great for research because you have so much access to so many different universities so many different people the school university of new south wales something that i thought was really interesting is that they have an in innovate in the can't talk they have innovations that they offer for free. So I was looking at the innovations that they have and they literally offer it to you for free. So students and faculty there that have come up with these amazing innovations and they're offering it for free for because they just think that innovation is what's gonna make the world better. And if they offer it for free, that is out there and it's just gonna make the world a better place. And I think that's such an amazing thing to be a part of. Also, when looking for what the school offers you, do you want to study abroad in the future? Because if you do, that might be definitely something to look at, see which schools have the best study abroad programs or where would you wanna study abroad? Does your school that you're looking at study abroad to that location? University of New South Wales also offers people to study abroad there. So if you guys are so interested in the school that I'm talking about, but you know that your parents will never in a million years let you go to an international National school they have opportunities to study abroad there this is why college is so complex and it's so hard because it's not just a classroom and where you're gonna learn like oh whatever it's just I'm gonna live in this place like it's so much more than that so the next thing that I looked at was the rankings I knew that I personally wanted to go to a school that was ranked well in what I wanted to do which is engineering so I looked at great engineering schools and even if the school wasn't ranked overall amazing, if their engineering department was good, that's all I looked at because I knew that would be the department I was in. University of New South Wales is actually the best university in Australia. And then they're actually the 49th in the world. Think of how many colleges there are in your state or in the country. And they're 49th in the world. I thought that was really great. I never knew that it was such an amazing school until I looked after it. I wanted to go to a good school. And if that's important for you, make sure that you look at rankings and apply. But I also recommend having that backup schools because top schools are very hard to get into and it doesn't mean that you're not smart if you don't get into the top schools please don't think that don't let a ranking define you don't let if you don't go to a great ranking school it doesn't really matter all that matters is that you are getting the most out of what your school is that's why I put rankings kind of at the end because that's kind of after every school has your checklist of like location and what does it offer you what is the majors that it offers things like that then you should look at rankings instead of just wanting to go to like Harvard or whatever and then look at that you want to make sure that your school has a good career center so like i was looking at university of new south wales i'm kind of modeling all of these after that they had a career portal where they post hundreds of new jobs there for their students and that is good because those jobs are specifically going to the university being like we want to hire people from your school so that's why you already have an advantage whether if you just looked it up on google you know you already have an advantage because those people want to hire graduates from university of new south wales so I thought that was really cool that they had like hundreds of people, hundreds of employers on there. Any school that has resources like that, you know you are going to get the bang from your buck because it actually wants to help you guys. And the next thing is student life. Again, college is not just four years of learning, being in a classroom and leaving. College is four years of your whole life. Like, when you are in college, co the college is kind of like your life. Like, you get the whole college experience. That includes student life. So do you want a school that has Greek life? Do you guys want don't want a school that has Greek life? Do you want a Christian school? Do you want a non-religious school? You guys will be impacted by the student life because that determines what you guys do when you're not in the classroom. So for me, student life was very important. I wanted to make sure that there was always things to do and that it was a fun school. That's why I chose a big city. So like Sydney, Australia, there is so much to do there, you guys. And I was actually looking and they have this thing called the ARC and it's like, literally all of student life so like food is there um it's like a free program or free like club i don't even know if it's club because they have over 290 clubs within this one thing they had a lot of sports they have a lot of club sports like intramural sports is that important to you make sure that you ask yourselves those questions so i know i'm talking about one specific school when i'm giving examples but this is just in general like 
to talk about anything in general like you need to make sure that your school checks off all of these things that you want and it's not going to be the same for everyone which is why schools are so different like not every college is going to be the same and not everyone is the same so there is a place for everyone and ask yourself what do you want do you want school with a lot of options or do you want school that just fits your mold exactly and that's it those are all of the categories that i looked at i hope this video made sense to you guys because i was just talking to you guys like chilling like we're friends you know let me know what schools you guys applied to in the comments below and if you guys do want to apply to university of new south wales i will leave a link down below again thank you guys so much for letting me do sponsored videos because this means the world to me and i i, I don't know i'm really happy right now you guys i'm really happy not because oh i'm getting paid whatever i'm happy because I'm doing things that matter like I am so many comments are telling me you are helping me so much with my college decision process And I know how hard that is for me when I was 18 or 17 however old I was when I was applying to college and like Having someone to talk to me about it and to give me more options and to help kind of help me think of what to look at really would have helped back then. So I'm glad I'm helping you guys out. Have a name for the College Tuesdays because College Tuesdays sounds so boring. And I was thinking Terrifying Tuesdays because it's literally terrifying applying to college, but people might not get that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to apply to University of New South Wales, I will leave that in the links below. I'll also leave everything else I talked about in the comments below or in the description below, like what the arc is, the um, study abroad opportunities, whatever, like everything I looked at to do my research for this university, I will leave down below. Hopefully one day that you will see me in Australia and I'll actually get to tour the place in person because it looks so amazing. Love to go there. Um, and if you guys are from Australia, comment that because I know I do have a couple people from Australia watching my videos. Like I know I can see that on analytics. So if you guys are from there, let me know what you guys think of the school and if any of your friends go there or if you go there. That'd be so cool if I had some of you guys that go there. Anyways, thank you so much for this long video and for liking them. Please give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much, so, so much. I'll see you guys on Friday and next Tuesday for a next terrifying Tuesday video. <laughs> All right, bye guys.